welcome! Today I will be talking about how to stop yelling at your children. Well, as a disclaimer, I do not think it's possible to never uh, yell at your children at all. That is because we are human beings, we all have our off days. However, there are ways that we can use to try and limit our yelling or to try and stop ourselves before we start to yell. So first of all, we need to understand that when we yell at children, it's very often not because a child has done something really, uh, but it's because we are frustrated and because we have lost the control over our own emotions. Um, remember that if a child is having a tantrum or they are doing something out of control, one in the room, at least one person in the room, should be in control. And you as the adult, or me as the adult, need to be in control. So um, in order to maintain control, we need to be aware when we are almost going to yell or we are ready to yell. Uh, we, we need to catch ourselves before we yell at a child. We need to understand what's going on with us. And then we need to find a solution to calm ourselves down first. So when we are, uh, when we are feeling uh, anger building inside of us or when we are uh, feeling ready to burst and ready to yell, Let's take a step back. Let's think about what's happening right now to ourselves. Uh, but before we even start to think, uh, it's important that we can find a way to relax so that we have the time and uh, the presence of mind to think. So one thing that we can do is a deep breath. And uh, some uh, call this the uh, four, four, seven uh, breathing techniques, uh, technique, but the numbers can change. Uh, the four, four, seven breathing technique means that you inhale for four, then you hold your breath for four seconds, and then you exhale for seven seconds. Uh, it, it doesn't really matter if it's four, four, eight, or if it's uh, five, four, seven. Uh, the seconds may vary a little. What is important is that when you exhale, the time of exhaling needs to be longer than the inhaling time. Once you have done this uh, once or twice or three times, you should start feeling much more calmer and when you are calm you can reflect a little bit better so uh, when you are calmed down with your breathing then you can start thinking why you were uh, why your child is pushing your buttons in that moment why the actions of your child are getting you nervous or angry or they are making uh, you want to yell you could be frustrated about uh, all the things you have to do today. You might be uh, running late with some tasks or with some things uh, in your job and so you're feeling nervous or uh, anxious about your job or about the things you need to do. You may feel anxious about a lack of uh, resources, a lack of money. Um, you may have engaged in negative thoughts before and now the behavior of your child is not helping, is just, um, is just exacerbating your negative feelings and that is why you, want, you feel more and more frustrated, you feel more and more angry and you want to yell. But actually your child has not caused all that. Your child's behavior is just poking at a situation that you have created for yourself. So um, when you feel you're getting angry or frustrated, especially towards your child, think about where the problem really lies. 
maybe you need to finish a task so that you feel less, less anxious about that task or maybe you really need to rest you are too tired and you're exhausted maybe you need help to look after your child for a while and you just need to go and have a nap or have a walk outside and then come back so maybe you need some help um, what is important is to think about solutions not to think about how your child's behavior has he's affecting your mood at that moment just uh acknowledge the fact that your child's behavior is not the main cause of your mood uh, your mood is uh, your responsibility. Uh, your mood can be controlled by you. Your thoughts can be controlled by you. So you can calm yourself down. You can change your thoughts. You can find solutions to your mood. Does this mean we don't need to care about what the child is doing? Does this mean we just ignore bad behavior? No, it doesn't mean that. But it can mean that sometimes. If the behavior is just mm, annoying to you but it's not a bad behavior it's not a negative behavior it's just something that the child is doing while they are playing while they are learning they are not doing anything dangerous or uh, anything damaging then we can ignore uh, that behavior the child is just being a child is just learning and playing and is not doing anything bad um, even though this might push your buttons because he's being noisy in that moment. Um, secondly, if we don't want to ignore the behavior because the behavior may be dangerous or may be damaging, then sitting from the sofa and yelling or standing in the other room and yelling will not be an effective way of stopping that behavior either, nor a safe method. The best method would be walking towards the child, walking to where the child is, and then talk to the child instead of yelling. So if the behavior is dangerous, you will not have the time, the proper time to calm down and breathe, etc. But while you are walking towards your child, you should uh, try to think about my child is not the cause of my mood. I am in control of my mood. I am in control of myself. And then when you go to your child, just speak clearly, firmly and clearly and tell the child exactly what you want them to do. Uh, you can also tell them afterwards what you don't want them to do in the future and you, that you don't want them to do that thing again uh, if they are doing something that you do not, do not appreciate. Um, however, the first thing to do when you want your child to stop an action that you don't want them to do is not to tell them don't do this, but it's to tell them do this instead exactly tell your child what you want them to do in that moment if your child is a toddler be very specific about what you say and be very simple in his, in your uh, instructions uh, i i was just uh, watching my child yesterday um, uh, playing with some colorant and water in a plate and then and then it picked up uh, a chair and the chair a plastic chair and the plastic chair fell down near the plate spilling all the water around uh, on the floor and uh, the chair was on still on the plate and he was a bit shocked because he didn't know what to do he just froze there because he didn't he didn't know how to solve that problem he had water on the floor he had a chair on a plate and his plate with all his uh, colorant water was underneath the chair so what i did was telling my child pick up the chair and then uh, he picked up the chair and in my mind I thought okay if I say pick up the chair he will pick up the chair and put it somewhere else and then uh, I will tell him what to do next but what I noticed was that my child just picked up the chair and was just standing holding the chair in his hands 
So he was actually waiting for me to tell him what to do with the chair. And, and then I, I, the first thing I thought was, I was not specific enough. I needed to say, pick up the chair and put it back where it came from or put it there. So when I saw him holding the chair, I said, okay, I was not specific enough, put it there, please. And he put it back where it was. And then I said, okay, now we have water on the floor. We'll need to clean it up, clean it up. And then uh, I gave him a mop and he mopped the water from the floor. If in this case, I just started yelling at my child, don't play with your chair like this. This would not mean anything to my child because he's a toddler. He doesn't know what I mean by don't play like this. Uh, or um, if I just yelled at him, look, you just spilled all the water on the floor. Don't spill water on the floor. That's not right. Again, I would have not solved the problem. He probably would have started to cry or he would have gotten angry or he would have probably just kicked more water on the floor. Who knows? Uh, but um, yelling would not have solved the problem, would have not achieved what I wanted, which was getting my floor clean again and getting the chair up from the floor. So telling your child exactly what to do uh, sometimes step by step uh, and telling to him telling that to him in a normal tone of voice uh, in an understanding tone of voice but a firm tone of, tone of voice will help you stop your child from an action that you don't want them to do and finally when you are about to yell if you do not have the time to breathe yourself into a calm if you cannot control your mind very well to think about what has caused uh, your mood at that moment. At least try to remind yourself about who you are and who your child is. Um, sometimes if I get uh, very frustrated about the situation, I will look at my child and just remind myself of how lucky I am to have my child. I will think about uh, when he was just born and he was so little and so lovely and I was just holding, uh, holding him in my arms. And uh, I just feel uh, lucky to be a mom and to be his mom and feel lucky to have him as my child. Uh, so when I remind myself about the things that I should be grateful for, uh, when I remind myself how lucky I am for the things that I already have, this helps me a lot in putting things into perspective. And often you will find out that if you are grateful about the things that you have, if you remind yourself that you are this child's mother and that he is your baby and you are so lucky to have, uh, to have a child like this in your life, um, then all other things really uh, pale in comparison. So any other frustrations, any other problem, problems that you may have really may start to completely fade away when you think about all the things that you can be grateful for. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please click like and subscribe and share this video with other mothers, especially uh, if you know that, are, that there are other mothers that are struggling with um, managing their own emotions, with uh, managing their uh, yelling uh, around their children, uh, send them this video and hopefully uh, it will be helpful to you and to all those you share it with. Thank you for watching and see you next time.